What's going on everybody? Good morning. This is Corey filming today. Unfortunately, Matt wasn't able to join me. Uh, he had some previous plans today, so I'm going to be heading out to Carlisle to uh, Carlisle Imports. Going to hopefully get you guys some footage of some Volkswagens and most importantly, some Corrado footage. All right, let's get this started. I already saw a couple nice cars I want to show you guys and uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate the, uh, the content that we can get to you from the show today. There's uh, way more than just VWs and Audis here so um, we'll try to get some cool import footage for you. another LC3U. Looks like it may have been repainted before, but I can't tell for sure. If this is your car and you're here, maybe you can comment. Okay, Matt, I know you're going to love this one. We got a uh, VW sport truck. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person before. It's a very clean example. It's definitely been restored to some extent. Good choice of some nice wheels as well. Alright, here we've got a nice Clean example of a MK1 Scirocco. 1981. It's about the same time I was coming to contact on this plane. This thing is nice. Interior is very clean too. I'm sure anyone watching here can spot these seats from a mile away. He scored some Corrado seats to put in the Scirocco. Other than that, it looks like a pretty original looking interior all right here's another one for you matt this one uh maybe not quite as flashy as the sport truck but it's got a little bit more uh oomph. i'm assuming we didn't really get to see what's under the hood of the sport truck but this guy has a br6 swap I always like the uh, flares on this car. Kind of remind me of the Rally Golf. In a way, the little spins and the widened arches. Definitely a uh, nice touch. This thing is definitely clean too. We've got another uh, Rally themed Audi Quattro GT. This one's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, I guess cosmetically appe appeasing if you're uh, more of a show car kind of guy. It's showing some love to the five cylinder 20 valve turbo. You can see these too often in the uh, original configuration. A lot of the hype today is with the, uh, the new one, like maybe well, it's under the hood of this uh, Nardo Gray RS3. But either way, there's some, uh, some nice cars here. 
All right, I know Matt doesn't generally have any Porsche content on his channel, but I, I figured I'd at least do a quick uh, overview, a little walk by of what we got here. Bing, 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 GT3 RS is sweet. Everyone knows uh, if it wasn't for Ferdinand Porsche, we would have no VW, so this thing is wow. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit more time to show you guys this one here. You know, yesterday... Oh, it's got a RUF badge on it. I don't know if it's a rough car or... Is the badging just for badging or is it a... It's a real deal. Wow. Congratulations, man. It's a nice car. All right, so talk about paying homage to Ferdinand Porsche. Here's some very clean examples. Some cars from his era. Alright, well this might be a first time for Matt's channel, but anyone watching who likes Volkswagens can appreciate this car right here. Actually, the three of these bugs is where it all started, more or less. Alright, I think we found a gem here. 1993 VR6 Corrado. It's about as original as you can get. Clean paint, stock air conditioning, and air box. Everything under there looks straight out of the factory. It's got these interesting uh, dust covers, I'm guessing is what they are, for uh, to keep these speed lines nice and clean. This is the first I've seen red dot in a plus interior car where it's got the window switches and the speaker trays and not on the actual door card itself um, i'm not sure how uncommon this is but um i've never seen it before um don't see them too like this anymore or nobody tried to mess around with them all right so i was able to find the uh the owner of this lovely 93 corrado uh his name is jim he's actually part of the uh the hadlock uh, harrisburg area volkswagen uh, association um, and he's been a member for quite some time now okay so he's willing to, to uh, talk about his car a little bit and um, kind of let, reveal the uh, the story of this thing so here we go okay well I went to my local Volkswagen dealer in 1993 I wanted a 93 or 94 new Corrado I was told the 93s were all sold and the 94s coming into the country were already spoken for so about six months later the dealer called me he said that Volkswagen of America had 10 Corrados that they put up for auction. The dealership bid on all 10, but only got one. If I wanted to come down and take a look before he put it out on the lot, I was welcome to. That day I bought the car. It had less than 4,000 miles when I bought it, and now it has less than 40,000. The car's completely stock except for the sound system. I love it. <laughs> don't really want to sell it, it would take a lot of money for me to part with that car. I've been, had quite a few offers on it, but... Yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't bl uh, blame you. There's a lot of high interest for these uh, cars now and uh, in good condition. Um, it's one of those things where um, you find one that's stock and <laughs> it's a dime, you know. One thing I wanted to ask you about was the uh, the dust covers inside the wheel. Is that something that came factory or is that something no, you added yourself? I added those. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're dust shields. Okay. And they really work. They keep the wheels nice and clean. And if I want to go to a like a uh, AACA club where everything has to be stopped, just take the wheels off, take them off, put the wheels back on. Okay, so, so that's... It's, it's something that's very easy to, to go back to, to completely stop. Right, and it's not an OEM. When I looked at it at first, I thought, man, this may be something I missed throughout my years of Corrado ownership, but I thought maybe it was a factory part, but it's, it's not actually no, an OEM part. No, it's not, but I will okay. say the, the company that I ordered them from, they wanted to know the serial number on the inside of those wheels. Okay, so they Because could... there were different wheels on these cars, they wanted to know the brand and the serial number. And when I got those dust shields, I had to push them in. That's how tight they fit. Nice. 
So. so I wasn't sure earlier when I looked at the car if this was the original paint or if it had been resprayed and everything is original. Original paint, even the wheels. It's the way the car is taken care of and when I choose to drive it. Right. It doesn't see rain or snow or you know anything like that. So that's why it holds up so well. Nice. Because it's garage kept and. I don't. I can pick when I drive. So I was curious too about the uh, the exhaust system. It looked like you still have the factory um, tailpipe, the muffler, everything yeah, from I, I, downpipe I back is all original. At the import show here at Carlisle, they used to have a, a thing called Standard of Excellence. Okay. And they had they had five or six judges that went over your car. I went to one of those with this, and he said, "Well, your exhaust system." I said, "What's wrong?" With it? He said, "It's dirty." I said, "It's dirty." He said, "Yep." He said, "We get under there and look." And here's Wow. I've, I've got this car up on jacks and I got in there with metal polish. Okay. I could shave. I could look in the muffler. Sorry, shave. Wow. Wow. Go ahead. Yeah, that's that's amazing that the original muffler it's and all, exhaust it's system could it's all stainless. And you can polish it and make it look like chrome. Wow. Yeah, most of us Corrado owners don't have don't have the luxury of still having not only not having the factory exhaust system, but if we do, it's definitely not as clean as what yours looks like. That's for sure. And uh, he did answer earlier. I asked him about the uh, interior, and those uh, red dot door cards and seats are original to this car. So um, it was something they offered in the later models, just not very uh, very often. I have um, never seen another one like it. Most of them came with leather, with leather. either black or, or tan. So. And most of the most of the Crados I saw, they tore those seats out and put Recaros and God only knows what. Right. Well, I'll admit my my car had the uh, the cloth. It was the gray dot. Um, with the gray with the black dots and that was one of the first things I did was I found a parts car and switched it out to black leather and um, the owner or the guy who has this channel Matt his car actually was configured the same way as mine was from factory and he still has the original seat so whenever I see his car it's like a, a throwback to when I originally had mine you know but um, there's still times when I think back man I wish I would have would have kept those seats you know but um, yeah, thanks for taking the time and talking about this car. And I it's definitely a, a <laughs> beautiful car. I'm Thank sure everyone's you. gonna appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, no problem. Well, what's going on, everybody? We're back in the Corrado, heading back home right now. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good day. Um, I was surprised to see that completely stock 93 Corrado. I was happy to uh, find the owner and get some information. And, I uh, didn't capture most of it on film, but I stood around and talked with him for about 45 minutes. And he's a great guy to uh, to have in the Corrado community. Um, met some other people there as well. Um, unfortunately, I noticed when I took a little break that I had a smudge on my uh, camera lens. So hopefully that didn't affect too much of the uh, filming. But uh, either way, uh, maybe we'll uh, see you guys again sometime soon. Take it easy. Peace.